Hey guys, Sword here, and this is going to be a vlog with Minecraft Xbox 360. And if you have any questions, concerns, topics, discussions, or ideas you want to share with me in the comment section below, feel free to do so, or send me a message via YouTube, so that if, oh, well, first of all, there's a squid down there. I saw it earlier. I want to go kill it. I'm going to kill it. So let me see if I can actually find it. It's very dark to see underwater. They should really work on that or something like that. I think it was brighter before, but now the lighting issue. Up oh, there it is. All right, I'm gonna go kill it. Where's there's my sword, and then of course, then boop. Oh, I can't see it. There it is. There we are. Got the experience for it, and I'm drowning. I don't want to drown, so of course, gotta swim up. All righty then. So again, if you have if you have any questions concerns, topics, discussions, or ideas you want to share with me in the comment section below, feel free to do so, or send a message via YouTube, and if I do answer your question, topic, discussion at hand, I'll credit you verbally within the video in itself, as well as that, I'll link your channel in the description below as giving thanks for helping me out with something to talk about for that day, and that is how I can give you a shout out. For those who are wondering about the shout out, that's how I do it. Alright then. And Steve, he keeps lagging out every five to ten minutes. Steve, you gotta check out your internet. I'm pretty sure it's not on my end, but you gotta do something about it. Alrighty then. So, today's topic. I had the same question by three different people. Excuse me. Alrighty then. Embarrassing. It's by Joshua Vincent as well as Young X Gun 2000. If you were to have any superpower, what would it be? Thank you all for sending me the question. Well, here's a shout out to 132 Halo Hunter, Young X Gun 2000, and then the last account is a Google account. So it's going to have the different characters and numbers, so it's I just can't pronounce it. Sorry. Well, this is the type of the, the type of question that I've asked my friends from time to time. It's the type of question that my friend and I, or my friends and I, actually had a discussion about. And I forgot what my what my other friend had his power to be. I just don't remember at the time. Well, first of all, I'm gonna get sidetracked every now and then, so I do apologize on that. But for now, right now, I gotta show you guys how to change the what's it called the autosave and as well as people have been asking me questions of how do you get rid of the heads up display and as well as the hand so after this is done finalizing hurry up hurry up there we go so let me see we got to go to help and options you got to go to settings and then of course for the autosave you have to go to options kind of lost where I was at right now there's the autosave I'm going to change it to an hour then you go to user interface if I could get there used to be in graphics now it's on user interface so at user interface you'll be able to take off the display hand and as well as the display heads up display okay uh, I didn't think that was redundant but sound like it alright then so there's your clear screen and now you can do whatever you want from it if you want to take like photos or something like that you're able to do so or what's it called screenshots there you go I'm old alrighty then moving on so back to the topic at hand if I were to have a superpower, what would it be? I've had this discussion with my friends in high school, and the thing that I brought up was that my power would be to be able to, what's it called, create anything from my imagination into reality. That was my power. So if I could think it, I could make it happen. So, yes, yeah, so I felt like that if I wanted to make it rain, outside I just snap my finger and then of course it'll rain so that was my superpower and of course that I want to have control of it because for me my mind goes all over the place as you could probably tell oh look butter alright awesome butter 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 and thank you Steve for the 13 butter okay then see what I mean I think I have like a little bit of ADD or something like that but I don't even know anymore there's there's a condition for everything even though you're probably a, the most normal person in the world but there's a condition for everything that probably tries to explain everything so you could use that as an excuse or something but I don't know okay I'm gonna have to slap myself later okay so back to the topic at hand of the superpower that I'm able to control my imagination and make it into reality of course, that I'm not going to allow my 
my mind just to think about something and it automatically happens. I actually have to be willing to make it into reality. So it would be my responsibility. It's not like, oh, I have no control of my imagination does. Nope, it's just I actually have to control it by either doing like a snap of the finger or verbally say that's going to happen or something like that. Or maybe if I can even think it and grant myself the permission to do it so that people will know that I'm actually doing it. I can just do it silently. But yeah, all I can say is that my imagination goes all over the place. I got to control it. But it, when I do want to, for it to happen, I can make it happen. So already, I'm already, already, I'm already, oh my god, I am failing right now. So I'm already an overpowered person. And I had the same question to my friends, like, what would your powers be? And my two, my other friends actually had good powers. One of them was mimicry. If you could see it, if you could hear it, if you could feel it, if anything, if he just witness it in any shape, way, or form, he's able to mimic it. So he has the power of mimicry. Like, if I were to grow a tree out of midair, he's able to do the same thing. So he's pretty much as powerful as me if he sees me doing something. So that's pretty that's pretty overpowered right there. And if he sees like a stunt man doing the doing one stunt, he will be able to do the same stunt. So there you go. He could be an impersonator for all you know and he could do well on that. So it's a power of mimicry. Steve, fix your internet. And then my third friend of course, his power is to manipulate anything that's on the periodic table. So take for instance an aluminum aluminum bat. I have trouble pronouncing words. The aluminum bat that, of course, has aluminum and other elements on the periodic table, he's able to morph it, bend it, shape it any way that he pleases, and he can make a sword out of it. So there you go. Pretty much every item that you see has part has something to do with the one of the elements of the periodic table. So pretty much, you could just bend a house if you wanted to. So there you go. He's OP in that as well. Oh my god, I'm stuck in the bed. I need to fix that. I remember you're able to stand on the bed, but apparently you're not now. There you go, 4J. Fix it, please. Excuse me. Okay, then. Move it on from here. Thank you, Steve. You're joining the game again. All right. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. I got to get back on track. I'm all over the place. I'm sorry. All I can say is that we have actually had a discussion where we'll be able to, with that, if any instance that we were to battle each other, pretty much we're all evenly matched. I actually d wanted to be a cheater and said I'm going to just take all the air out of this area. And of course my friend doing mimicry he's able to actually defend himself because since I took all the air I'll be able to breathe without the air he's able to do the same thing. And as well as that my friend since he's able to manipulate anything that if he sees like a glass of water he's able to take the air all air molecules, that's why it's called H2O, he's able to take the oxygen oxygen molecules, I am failing today, oxygen molecules out of the water and he's able to breathe through there for a long time because he's able to manipulate it that he could actually multiply it as many times as he wants, so there you go, all I can say is just, my god, we're all evenly matched when we think about it, so yeah, I'm the type of person that likes to daydream a lot like I cannot pay attention to many things because I daydream half the time like if I were to sit among my friends and I'm just staring at nothing for a long periods of time it could either go from five minutes ten minutes even 30 minutes I've actually daydreamed for an hour before that was kind of bad because I didn't pay attention at all in the class it just felt like a review day to me and I just didn't feel like paying attention as well as that I was kind of sleep deprived so that kind of has something to do with it but still that the first thing I would ever do if I do have that power is that I could probably make Pokemon real or that I could go into a Pokemon world and live there for a while make myself a clone and have a clone do whatever that needs to be done but that would be cool if I were to able to have that power I'll have many clones and then we could do several things at once I'll give myself an X a second Xbox one my friend or sorry my cl my first clone could do one series my second clone could do another series my third clone could do a third series and we'll just be making series and then we'll just be uploading videos like none so that'd be very very fun for everyone right all right then so that's pretty much it my power I'm able to 
create anything from my imagination into reality on my own free will, so I'm already overpowered. My other friend has the power to manipulate anything on the periodic table, and my other friend has the power to mimic whatever is happening around him. So, us three, we're evenly matched. And now I want to ask you this, what will your superpower be? You cannot use any of the three that we, I have just said. Just because I, I don't want people to actually be cheating, it's like, oh, I'll just have your power as well, and I'm not going to bother answering. Nope, just, you can't use any of the three that I just mentioned. So, pretend that never existed, none of us are able to actually have that power, so, what would your power be? It could be, it could be whatever, it could be silly, it could be fun, it could just be whatever that you want. We're not, we're all friends here, we all want to have fun, so if you could have one silly power, what will it be? And then, what, if you want to be serious, what power would you have? like any superpower so feel free to comment down below and as well as if you do want to make a video response feel free to do that as well and it has to be on the topic at hand I'm not going to accept the video that's not about the topic at hand so please make sure that it is about the topic at hand I cannot stress that enough but until then if you guys have any more questions that you want to ask me feel free to comment down below thank you Joshua thank you Vince and as well as thank you young X gun 2000 for sending me the sending me the question or message same thing I'll create I'm gonna link your channel in the description below so there we have it we're gonna be continue continuing working on the skylight and at least we got this column done and we got a little bit of work to do before operation bedrock number 43 is out so, that being said, I am Sword Kings Around Zero. Have a nice day, everybody, and I will see you in the next video.